Hello children, how are you all? Okay, let us study today about the great leader who was a key figure in the introduction of the Indian philosophies of Vedanta and Yoga to Western world. See here, the great leader is here, the Swami Vivekananda. See, many leaders we know about him, about many leaders we know. Few leaders you look up to and you say what you do so. And what make the leader here children? The leaders means the quality, the good quality of a man makes a good leader. See here given, give me a few men and women who are pure and selfless and I shall shake the world. See who said by this? This is said by Swami Vivekananda. See Swami Vivekananda was a key figure in the introduction of the Indian philosophies. See Indian philosophies is there no? The philosophy of Vedanta and Yoga who introduced? Who introduced this one? Swami Vivekananda. Here you see children India is a land of many religions and cultures. People here Take people here take both pleasure and pain alike. They are dedicate and duty bound. In this land, many well known religious leaders have been born. One such leader has been Swami Vekananda. See, India is a land of many religion. How the many religions Siddhavala India Dali culture suide. People here take both pleasure and pain. Yes, pleasure is there. Means, dukhanu is there, sukhanu is there. They are dedicated and duty bound. How the peoples are here? They are dedicated and the duty bound peoples. And religious, well known religious they are. And have been born. One first such leader has been Swami Vivekananda. See, Swami Vivekananda was the type of this person. Next, one day a small boy jumped out of the coach in which he was traveling and ran to his mother with a smiling face. See, one day, one day what happened there? A small boy jumped out of his coach. Coach means, you know, children, that who takes, in the olden days, there were no vehicles they used to they used bullock carts, coach. Coach means that horse carries the coach, that one. Ran to his mother with a smiling face. What the boy did? He ran to his mother with a smiling face. He pointed at the coachman and told his mother, I want to be a coachman. How nice it is to drive a coach. See what the boy said to his mother. Nanaktini, what? I will drive the coach. Nanu Sarathi Akdini. Have you heard these children in the Kannada lessons also? About Swami Vivekananda. But mother don't want to be him a coach. The mother could not say anything at that time. See the mother did not reply at that time. Later she showed him the picture of Gita Padesha. What she has done? She showed the picture of Gita Padesha. Gita Padesha means Bhagavad Gita. And the patted him saying, Dear Naren, if you want, you can. Patted him and said, Dear Naren, see, if you want, you can be a coachman, but you should not be a coachman like Krishna. See, you should be a coachman like Krishna. Okay, okay. You know, Sarathi Agben Agbe Kankondi Diyala Agu, but Krishna Tara Agbe Kuninu, who taught Arjuna? See Krishna, Yavriti Arjuna ye, Illa Illa the Nukal Skota, Aderiti Agbe Ku. Though the boy did not understand, the boy was very small, he do not know about the story of the Mahabharata, he did not understand what the mother told. It clearly he became later what his mother wanted to be him to. Means Krishna Andre, you know. Krishna, Krishna na yaradru alatara illa. Krishna illa ranu alatara means Krishna 
ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬಿಗ್ ಒನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಮದರ್ ಕೂಡ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಮದರ್ ದ ಬಾಯ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಾಯ್ ನರೇನ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಏನಾದರೂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದ ಬಾಯ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಜಾನ್ವರಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿವರ್ಗ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಜಾನ್ವರಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ದತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭುವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ದೇವಿ ಇನ್ ಕೋಲ್ಕಟಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಲ್ಕತ್ತಾ ಸಿ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ದತ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭುವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ದೇವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಕೋಲ್ಕತ್ತಾ they considered the child the boon of the god veereshwara shiva see the parents considered the child the boon of veereshwara shiva just the boon of boon means here what the gift of god veereshwara shiva and named him veereshwara later the boy gave him the name narendra datta see his parents gave him a name narendra datta at the age of 6 narendra was sent to a primary school and later to a private tutor see the boy was sent to a primary school later to a private tutor he studied sanskrit grammar see in studied mar in study maridru swami vivekananda sanskrit grammar long passages from the ramayana and the mahabharata he had strong desire to study the more and he wanted to see god see what was the desire of the boy he wanted to study more and he wanted to see the god he met many people he had a strong desire to study more and he wanted to see god he met many people but he not able to get a satisfactory answer here what happened children he wanted to he had a desire to see god but he met many people he did not get a satisfactory answer the desire to see god grew day by day finally one day he became successful when he could meet his guru from whom he got the answer to his desire see what was the desire was there wish was there to see god so one day it be- had become the successful how when he met his guru and he got his answer he could see god the guru who made this possible for narain was shri ramakrishna paramahamsa who was the guru the guru was shri ramakrishna paramahamsa shri ramakrishna paramahamsa could help him experience god see he can help him to experience god but not to see the god we can experience the god but we cannot see the god the sri ramakrishna paramahamsa became narain spiritual guru spiritual means what the concept of being human being see swami vivekananda did not stop with this adru stop agilla he went he went on on and on walks miles travel all over the country to discover truth narain was kind to all he had sympathy for the poor he was courageous to see stop madila then he went miles to gather traveled all over the country to discover truth and he was very kind what kind of person was narendra narendra was very kind he had a sympathy for the poor he was courageous to the qualities helped him to become a wandering monk wandering means going from one place to another place traveling alone to all the places to help the needy he often expressed his ideas on education according to him education should develop a complete human being see according to him what was that education can develop education only the thing can develop a complete human being sariyagi manushannu manushyatvannu torisikolade vidde anta helidru he made he made a speech in a great hall of columbus in the parliament of religions at chicago 
on 11 September 1893. See what was he done? He made a speech speech in Columbus. Columbus, where was he? Where was it? In the America. The Parliament in the America means Chicago. Parliament of Religions at America means Chicago. There, the place of America. This. He began his address with the words. Sisters and brothers of America, immediately there was a thunderous applause. See, Yavriti start Madhidru speech. Sisters and brothers and the address Madhidru. Sisters, sisters and brothers of America. So, there was a thunderous applause. Applause means what? Clapping. In Bantu, Yelru Joragi clap Madhik Shuru Madhidru. From the vast audience, see vast means many more ad audience was there and lasted for two minutes. See, yes, two, two minutes were again clamps and look at us. The Swami spoke of the religion that was very vast as the sky and the deep as ocean. See, Avriti, what he has spoke about the religion. Vast as the sky. See, sky avriti vast ide. And how the ocean is deep. Ashtu. Vattu matadi dhru. Further, he thanked all those who had assembled there. He referred to the Indians of all classes and sects. He said about the Hindu religion and that in the true sense. See. What he thanked all the peoples who assembled there, gathered there. He referred to the Indians of the classes and sect. See what he said about the Indians, what the classes are there and what the sects are there, what are the religions are there in India. He said about the Hindu religion in the true sense. It embraces all humanity. See that has embraced, that has expected accepted by the all humanity and declared i am proud to belong to the religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance see what he said i am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance here what the swami vivekananda is saying that i am proud to be a hindu you know i am proud to be as a hindu religion my religion is hindu and it has taught me the world both tolerance and acceptance means that universal what the tolerance means just what to tolerate it is there it has taught me and what is there in the universal that uh, I had to be accept. We believe not only in universal tolerance but we accept all religions as true. See, not only we have to be believe in the universal tolerance but we have to accept all religions as true. See, any religions, any religion on the earth that we have to accept it. These words were very impressive for whom? The people of Chicago means the people who were listening the speech of Swami Vivekananda. No, for them it was very impressive because there were the people who belongs to a different religion. They are listening the Swami Vivekananda speech. He observed that the division in society based on religion has resulted in human hatred. See what whatever the division have been made in the religion. That result into the human hatred means they are, that made has a human being to hate one religion to the another religion or one person of another religion to the another religion person. He felt that human society would be far more advanced when there were no division. See, when the society becomes advanced, when there were no divisions of the society means in the religion. Swami Vivekananda exposed his hope saying that the time for driving away this evil forces in society had come. See this he wanted to drive away means he want to just put send away these thoughts from the people. He told them not everybody should develop a sense of brotherhood and love for each other. See everybody should develop. See everyone should 
have that they see here what swami vivekananda is saying here swami vivekananda expressed his hope saying that time for driving away this evil forces in society had come see we have to drive away the evil forces what have the society had done means what has the society is doing our division sex caste everything he told them that everybody should develop a sense of brotherhood and love each other see if we drive away our evil thinking from the society we can develop a sense of brotherhood among everyone love among everyone there was a great respect and appreciation from the people of america see these words have been had been ex- expressed by swami vivekananda in chicago after his return to india he spent his time preaching religious tolerance and worked for the upliftment of the poor see what he did after coming back from the chicago he just did his preaching towards the religious tolerance and worked for the upliftment means the just the bringing up for the poor he established belur math in 1898 which became the center of ramakrishna mission means who is here ramakrishna ramakrishna is the guru of swami vivekananda with the motto what the motto was there what the intention of the mission was there work is worship kay kave kailasa do he had do he had only a short span of life on earth the essence of his words have been inspiring men and women throughout the world so here he had who swami vivekananda had a short span of his life very in early age he just expired so the essence of his words see whatever he taught that words still yet inspiring the men and women throughout the world i hope children you understood this lesson